Hello viewers, this is Wagada Ronald and taking you through this tutorial and in this video we are going to look at go through the solutions to the UNEP paper of the year 2019 for subsidiary math. So this video shall mainly concentrate on questions 1 to 4. The other solutions will come in the next videos. So these are the questions we are going to look about this question 1, question 2 and question 3 and question 4 are there. So now let's start with question 1. Question 1 says, show that square root of 25 cubed plus 5 to power 6 over 5 to power 7 minus 5 to power 6 is equal to root of 2 over 2 and they give it 5 marks. So now we are going to go step by step and see how you can get all these five marks without leaving any. So first of all you have to remember that now this is a combination of indices and sets. So let's for we shall first start with simplifying. 25 is the same as 5 to power 2 so you have to remember that first. Then also that is the numerator. For the denominator you realize that this is 5 to power 7 and 5 to power 6. They have something in common. 5 is common and the, is the powers which are changing. So the first thing to do is to factorize. Now how do you factorize? This is how you factorize. Look at these powers. The, this is power 7 and this is power 6. What you do, you are going to pull out the term with the, power, with the smallest power. So this 5 to power 6 is the, is the one with the smallest power. That is why you pull out 5 to power 6. Now inside, how do we get these values? We are going to come back here and say, this part you have pulled out, we are going to say now 5 to power 7 divided by 5 to power 6. If you can realize that the same base, you divide, subtract the powers, 7 minus 6 is 1, that is why you get 5 to power 1. Then for this term, we shall say 5 to power 6 divided by this outside term, which is 5 to power 6. And then you can see that same base, so you subtract the powers. 6 minus 6 is 0. That's why you get minus 5 raised to the power 0. So that is the now the new, new denominator. Next is to simplify further. When you look at this, these are both powers. There is 2 and 3 are both powers. So what we do, we are going to multiply the 2. Now 2 times 3 gives you 6. That is why you get 5 to power 6. Then plus 5 to power 6 which is this. Now when we come here, 5 to power 1 is 5 and 5 to power 0 is 1. Therefore, 5 minus 1 will give you 4. That is where this 4 is coming from. This one is the one which is here. Next is to simplify again. When you look at this, now this and this, they are all, they are all 5 to power 6, 5 to power 6. So when you add the 2, you come up with 2 times 5 to power 6. And then we have 5 to power 6 times 4, which is this. Now this one and this one can reduce to give you 2 here. And here it will be 1. And here also 1. Now this, that means that in the end we are going to get 1 over 2, which is this everything under root. Now next is to introduce an innocent expression or we call it rationalizing. Look at the denominator which is root 2. Multiply both up and down by root 2 to come up with this step. When we simplify that part we are going to come up with 1 times root 2 will give you root 2 and root 2 times root 2 will give you 2. And this is the expression that was required. Now let us see how the 5 marks come about. Now the first mark is for you to deal with this numerator to come up with this part and the second mark is for you to deal with this denominator to come up with this part. Now the third mark is to simplify to come up with this square root of a half and the fourth mark is for you to rationalize and the last mark is for you to get simplify to get an expression similar to what was given. So that is how the five masks can come about in such a question.
Now let's go to question 2. Question 2 says, two events A and B are such that probability of A is 19 over 30, probability of B is 2 over 5, and probability of A intersection B complement is 1 over, is 2 over 5. Find part A, probability of A intersection B, and that is 3 marks, and part B, probability of A union B, and those are 2 marks. Now we are going to go through step by step so that we can see how the 5 marks can be got without leaving any. So the best method to use is the set theory. So this is the set, this is pro set for A, and this is the set for B. Now we know that probability of A is 19 over 5. 30 so come and put here your 19 over 30 then you know that probability of b is 2 over 5 so come and put here your 2 over 5 and probability of a intersection b complement not this word b complement what does that mean it means that this is the probability of a alone so a alone is 2 over 5 so come and put your 2 over 5 there so this is what we are given now we have to fill the set now, for you to get this intersection, you have to remember that the whole of this is equal to probability of A, which is 19 over 30. But therefore, this 19 over 30 is equal to this plus what is here. But know that what is here alone is 2 over 5. Therefore, to get this remainder will be 19 over 30 minus 2 over 5 to get 7 over 30. So, this will be A intersection B. Therefore, part A, we shall conclude that intersection B is equal to 7 over 30. Then now we are going to go to part B. Part B, they wanted A union B. For you to get A union, A union B means you have to get this, this, and this. Now, for you to get this part, you have to remember that the whole of this is 2 over 5, but this one alone is 7 over 30. Therefore, the remaining part will be got by saying 2 over 5 minus 7 over 30 to come up with 1 over 6. Now that we have got this term, this term, this term, we can now get the second part of A union B by saying A union B will be equal to this part plus this part plus this part. And when you add all of the three, we are going to come up with this. And when you use a calculator, we are going to come up with our A union B as 4 over 5. For that, so that was the solution for this question. Let's see how the five must come about. Now this M1 is for subtraction. For you to fill this part, you get that M1. And this other M1 is for you to fill this part. Now this A1 is for you to get that. And this one is for addition. And this one is for the simplifying to get that final answer. So that is how the five marks can come about in such a question. Now we shall go to question 3. Question 3 says, determine the possible values of A for which the equation 2x squared plus A plus 2 in brackets x, everything multiplied by x, plus A plus 2 equal to 0 has equal roots and they give it 5 marks. So let's see how the 5 marks can be got in such our question. 